Laundromat Day Kwan. I'm uh, Esther Wauda. I am the screenwriter on the project, uh, working with you. Uh, I'm uh, Mathieu Ovae, I'm a French director, uh, directing the Gooseberry project. Bonjour. Um, in real life, I'm a um, screenwriting teacher and a script coach, professional storytelling specialist, something like that. Uh, I wrote uh, the screenplay for Sintel, so I hope to be uh, that we can make something successful uh, for this one as well. <laughs> it's 12 studios with all these different qualities and atmospheres and we have to make it into one whole. That's the biggest challenge. The biggest challenge is to make all these different things come together into one whole. It's quite challenging to, 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 to say, okay, we'll, we'll do a story with two characters that will change appearances every five minutes. It would be a worm, a robot, uh, an animal, an alien, a lot of things uh, as it goes. So it's quite challenging to just be sure it will work as one story, interesting and emotional story. So, so we're building a skeleton at the moment. Aha, it's not a zombie story. Definitely not. <laughs> oh, it's poor shit. Yeah. The story of our film is a story of... Uh, it's an adventure. A love adventure, maybe? There's two, two main characters, mm -hmm. a, fe a female and a male. Um, the male is actually a sheep, originally, and is uh, a, a, sh a sheep. A what? <laughs> a sheep. Oh, a sheep? A sheep. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Ah. For now called Michel. And um, he will take a special offer deal that will um, bring him, send him to every life form and universe uh, that exists. Mm -hmm. So he will experience a lot of things and pretty quickly fall in love with a female character that is also on the special offer deal. Mm -hmm. um, and then he'll try to follow her. They have a lot in common, lot in common, but they also have uh, differences that they don't want to see at first. And of course, they do find out along the way. And, and they'll fall in love pretty quickly. So. We're working on the character, making them real round, full characters, not just animation characters that are literally or figuratively flat, but they really are full, full uh, characters that have their own wishes and dreams and, um, and problems also, fatal flaws. The, the female character will, will get him into trouble or he will get himself into trouble as these things go. She will be half of the movie, so it's a good thing we have at least one female involved yeah. in the project. <laughs> uh, but uh, she, uh, she, yes, she has a life of her own and uh, wishes of her own. And uh, the, the question is, will they find a way to, uh, well, to find each other? That's, that's the big question, I think, in this story. Actually, it should, it's a fish out of water story. Sheep out of water. Fish, no, sheep. It's about a sheep, but it's a very human movie, I think. It's about... Love. <laughs> sheep. Surrender. It's about the cycle of life. No, seriously. It's a really classical love story. Things and drama and um, like an ancient uh, drama love story somehow. We both want to tell these stories. Stories about how life affects you and how that changes you and uh, in good and bad ways. And um, it's about growing. Yeah, that's what it's all about. <laughs> Can't give too much away, of course. Um, there was a few one, and not a final one yet, but uh, I, I kind of like, um, um, Machine wash cold with light colors. That's the right. Is it, eh? <laughs> we had another movie title yesterday, didn't we? It was Lost in Repetition. 
Exactly. Cheap happens. <laughs> Yes. No. <laughs> As it goes. Script writing process is, is, can be very chaotic. I try to structure it. It's really complicated to judge a script also because you have to... A script is, you know this better than me, I guess, but it's something quite neutral. You don't have to put everything in it also. There's a lot of things you don't say in a script that is related to, to the, how you will tell this story on screen. So, no, I don't mind sharing bits of it, uh, as long we are judged by the end product. I like to first get to the heart of what we want to tell, and then uh, I add things along the way until it becomes this big bouquet of flowers that holds together, hopefully. It's a very long process where you just have to, 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 to find good ideas and, and mostly get rid of the bad ones. Screenwriting is rewriting. There's nothing to be done. That's always the case. <laughs> Did I write my answers now? No. No, <laughs> no seriously, I, I swear. A screenplay is like, um, well, maybe it's like a skeleton, but like one of those skeletons that you find in a prehistorical museum. You take out one bone because, yeah, it's the wrong color or it just doesn't fit there, you take it out and the whole thing falls apart, <laughs> if you're not careful. You have to look at the whole and you have to look at the details and all of it has to make sense and has to move people. So that's what we are trying to, that's what we're building at the moment. You could go. Uh, yeah. So we have a lot of creative people working with us and we're uh, always open to their ideas. So if, if an idea makes sense and it fits the core of the story as we envisioned it now, we will use it. And a lot of ideas will be thrown away, even our own. We do that all the time. Yeah, yeah that's the process. I have to do that. Okay. I have to dry my stuff. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. I already washed my clothes, oh. I think. Why am I here in the laundromat? Well, support us and find out. <laughs> Good answer. Perfect. Shit, that was really, That's that came from far away. Perfect. We have to ask you also or not.